Hey, this is a quick demo showing deploying a Next.js app on SSR v2. So we start at the Amplify console and we choose to host a web app. From here, I'm going to choose GitHub as my repo provider. Once I'm authenticated with GitHub, I can see all of my repos. Uh, I am going to select one here and choose my main branch. Click Next, and we've been able to automatically detect that this is a Next.js app, so it's filled in the right build and test settings for me. And further down here, I am going to choose to create and use a new service role. So this has changed from SSR v1. In SSR v1, you would have to open a new tab, go to the IAM console, and then follow a, I think is a five step workflow to create and set up a role, and then select that role from a list. But with the new system, we can just leave it on the default value of create and use a new service role. So that's already saved a couple of minutes and several screens. Click next to see a summary and then choose save and deploy. Okay, so my app creation is in process. And then I am shown my main branch is going to go through the provision, build and deploy steps. Okay, the app's now fully provision built and deployed. If I check out the details of my main branch, you can see the build duration took two minutes, 46 seconds. That's about 10 times faster than SSR v1. It would have taken about 20 minutes on SSR v1. Another cool thing is if I open the app and just call this API route that just returns a piece of JSON with the date in the source code for that simple JSON return. We also write a log. So we write, this is a console log from the handler in API. I'm gonna take a copy of that. And if I go back over to the Amplify console, choose monitoring for my app, and then take a look at my logs, we can get a direct link to CloudWatch, which is where we're outputting all of the logs for the apps. So here you can see the log groups and log streams that are associated with this Amplify app. And if I do a search and I search for that particular event, this is a console log from handler in API. Click search, then I can drill in and I can see where that has been outputted to the log. So I've, I've called the API four times here. So jump back over, refresh, do another search. We should see that update to be five times. So all of the output is going directly into CloudWatch. And we did not have to do anything because the permissions were set up when we created the, um, the, the service role as part of creating the app. So it's a super slick integration with another AWS service.